Okay? So I wanted to do a video on government AI. And I just watched a video, some higher level guys in the programming world, and they were talking about stuff, again, when I say higher level, I gleaned some of it, some of it made sense to me, but basically what it came down to was the government recently changed their policy on software, I guess, where all their software is going to be written not in, in C code, but in Rust code. Now, what the guys were saying was basically Rust, as far as a programming language, is perfectly suited for government work, but it is not suited for agility or artificial intelligence or any of that stuff. And basically what they described was Rust code is, people remember its features because when you write the code, it's basically going to sit there and rust. It is incredibly difficult to change the code in whatever software they write. Now, what I thought was kind of humorous about this, and the guys were, were making jokes because they were basically like, as soon as AI gets to the ability where it can write code better than an AI engineer can write code, then private sector, private sector software is going to immediately be significantly better than what the government is working with. And the government is gonna be essentially handicapped by that. Now, the, the idea that they kept drawing to for benefit was core truth. So when you're learning something new, you are always going to be referencing that against core truths that you already know, right? So, like the laws of physics. Does this violate the laws of physics? If it violates the laws of physics, I'm not going to bother learning that because it violates one of my core truths, right? Even though I'm open-minded and that's not necessarily something you could disprove a law of physics and we can change that, you know? That's, that's the benefit of my code. Some people have their brains wired in a sense where it's like, no, my core truths are my core truths and they are unwritable. That is more analogous for Rust code. So what I thought was more humorous was we had a code as a country and that code, the core truth of our code was the constitution. And they, as you know, individuals rewrote our core code and overwrote the constitution with regional laws that subvert the constitution and semantics that violate the constitution in spirit and, and language, but they're loosely defined as constitutional by consensus, you know, even though it's not logical by the definition of the words they use when it comes to gun control and stuff like that. So, and, and a lot of other things. Abortion. Abortion, a constitutional right. Are you freaking kidding me? Where does that even come close? It doesn't. It's nowhere in the Constitution. It's nowhere in the Bill of Rights. Anything about abortion. They would have slapped you around for five hours if you even decided bringing that up back then. So, there's a lot of things that have been overwritten our core code, but now the people who are in power today are terrified that artificial intelligence is going to show up and overwrite their corrupt code, which is actually overwritten our constitutional code. So what I would hope is that if the government were to write some sort of AI software, 
and they were to write it in unchangeable code that the um, referenced truths that that AI is referring back to is the Constitution. Now, I can guarantee you it's not going to be the case. Um, I can 100% guarantee you because I know enough about the Constitution to know that it would ruin the lives, careers, and testicles of about 85% of our government workforce. Um, but it would be nice. It would be nice if they wrote an unchangeable artificial intelligent code that included constitutional law. But that would be basically suicide for the people who are writing the code. So, you know, don't count on that. But what you can count on is government intelligence to be slower and dumber than anything that the private sector is doing just by the nature of the adaptive abilities of the underlying code foundation and the features of that code. So I just wanted, I thought it was quite a bit ironic uh, and humorous that um, an institution founded in, in basically uh, plain sight fraud is uh, very interested in permanence. <laughs> anyway, I thought that was funny.